Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Abhas Dash and today we'll be discussing about proxy servers. What are proxy servers and why do we use it? Why it has been used in most of the companies and why? what is the use case of it? Okay, so we'll be discussing from starting to last so that you will get an understanding of it. And uh, prior to starting this video, I want each and everyone to please stay indoors because you must be knowing uh, the condition of our country like the COVID cases have been surging each and every day. So please take care of yourself, take care of your family, stay at home and you know, always you know, uh, follow the guidelines like you know, maintaining the social distancing and all. So please do that. So let's start the topic about proxy server. So what I'll do is I'll you know, take you back to your college or school days when you used to say to your friends, ki, you know, bro, aaj proxy laga dena. So what do you mean by this? When you say someone else or your friend, ki proxy laga dena, that means you want your friend to act on your behalf so that you can get your attendance. So the fundamental has been understood, right? You are here, then your attendance is here or your teacher or whoever, she, he or she is taking your attendance. So directly not going and giving your attendance, what you are doing is you are allocating a proxy like your friend and he or she, you know, gives attendance on behalf of you. So you do not have to directly, you know, con make contact with the attendance or the teacher. You go through a proxy friend. So similarly in IT world also, we have a server that is known as proxy server. Now let's understand in IT world what it is. So the same concept has been followed in the proxy server whenever we come into the IT world. It's like you have an internet server here. I'll, I'll just write it down for you. This is internet. Okay, so this is internet, the server which you are trying to connect or for example, you are trying to connect facebook.com. So this will be the, you know, server of facebook.com. So you are trying to connect and this is your system. Okay, user, I'll write it user. Correct. So this is you, you are trying to connect to the internet server. So but what you will do is instead of giving your IP address, you are not giving your IP address, instead you are giving IP address of your server while searching for this particular internet server or any particular site, whatever may it is. Okay, so you are not using your IP, you are masking your IP address with the IP of the proxy server. Okay, this is proxy. Okay, so this is an added layer of protection you are having into your private systems or it might be any of your personal system also. So I'll tell you what are the use cases of proxy server? Like why are we using this? Like, you know, five or six, you know, use cases of proxy servers, why, why I'm using. So for example, take myself as an attacker. Okay, I'm an invader. I'm trying to invade your system. I want to know your IP address. I want to know the IP address of your server, your system or anything. Okay, so what I'll do is, you are connecting through proxy server to the internet. Okay, so what I'll do is, I'll try to find I'll try to attack here. Okay, let's. So I'll try to attack here, and I'll try to find the IP address of this by which you are cunning, by which you are connecting to the internet. Okay, so I found out the IP address is something like 1.0.0. something. Okay, X Y Z. Let's take X Y Z. It will be very easy. Okay, let's take the IP address of this proxy is X Y Z. So I am an attacker. Okay, so I got to understand like you are accessing internet through X Y Z. So I will be very happy. Yeah, I got the server. I got the IP address of the server XYZ. So I'll try to attack this. But you know, I will think that I am attacking the user. But in case I will be attacking the proxy server. Okay. So it's like an added layer of protection you are getting in your private network or your, you know, or a personal system also when whenever you use your proxy. So you, by this way, this whole process is more secure like the conventional process, you know, directly, you know, whenever you go, it's always recommended to go through a proxy server. This is one of the use case that is security and anonymous. Obviously, anonymity has been maintained. You are not giving your IP address directly to the internet. Okay, because you are giving, you are going through a proxy server. So your IP address has been masked. Okay, I'll not say mask because IP masking is a whole together different uh, topic. I'll come into it in an, any different video. If you want, please let me know in the comment section if you want to know about IP masking and all. So I'll come with that. So what you do here is, you know, your IP address has been anonymized and you know, uh, you are not getting and the attacker is not able to get your IP address. So anonymity has been maintained 100%. 
Now the third thing is cache. This is one of the most important thing which most of the people do not know the use case of it like cache in the proxy server. What happens in private network for any of the company is like, you know, private company they have a proxy server, okay? And there will be n number of users. Okay, this is user 2, this is user 1, user 3. Okay, so they might be surfing the internet through a proxy server. Okay, they might be going through a proxy server. Proxy server holds the cache of the surfing browser. For example, user 1 has served facebook.com, okay? I'm taking an example, okay? Obviously, it's not recommended to, you know, serve facebook.com in your private or office connection, but yeah. For example, a user one is uh, surfing facebook.com. So what proxy does is, it caches, it takes the memory and it keeps it here, okay? So that when user two, when it again tries to surf facebook.com, that same web page, okay? So proxy server, you know, it doesn't have to again go to the internet server and ask for the, you know, that again whole cycle, he doesn't have to go it. This particular web page is already been cached here, facebook.com. So what they will do is whenever user types facebook.com okay so it will just rebound that particular website web page from here okay they do not have to go again here so it is cached the memory has been cached here so this is pretty important why because it is fast okay importance of you know cache it it is fast okay uh, because you know obviously the time lag has been saved here and the second thing is it is secured and i'll tell you why it is secured for example, user one goes through proxy server and it serves the internet, then user two goes, user three goes, you know, again and again the cycle continues. The frequency of the cycle continues, so it also, you know, uh, gives an more opportunity to the attacker, you know, if the frequency is more, the definitely the attack ratio will be also more, okay. So in a case, it's secure. Now, I'll tell you block list. The last, last use case of proxy server is block list. So what you can do is, for example, here only you can uh, put a, uh, you know, allow list and block list. What do you mean by allow list? For example, I want my company employees to serve facebook.com. Example, which is not ideal, but I want my user to serve facebook.com because of the nature of the service. They can serve facebook.com, they can surf YouTube also. Okay, so I want this all to be in the allow list. Okay, so it will be in the allow list of the proxy servers. Okay, it is in the configuration. Definitely, you know, if you can. Uh, deep dive into more into proxy servers how are they configured and all you will get to know about this if i put this particular web page into block list okay so that means the users even also they will type facebook.com they will not be allowed because it is here only it will be denied so i think that's it for today you know i gave you an idea and overview of uh, you know uh, what is proxy server and how they have been used what are the use cases of it so i think that's it for today you know i'll come with another new video uh, in some other time and definitely keep watching that channel please like share and subscribe to this channel show your love i know it has been like six months i'm getting enormous support from you guys and i'm very overwhelmed with that so thank you so much keep supporting us and we'll come with again new videos and all thank you so much thank you so much bye bye